So now that we've created our wheel, axle, and hub, what I would like to do now is we are going to duplicate all of these. And I can either go Control C, Control V, or I can come up here and hit Duplicate. And then I just want to hit the right arrow or left arrow, depending where you are. Now, you can customize this if you want. You can build it if you want. Um, just remember that um, for right now, we're just going to stick with this, and you've built the other parts of the vehicle. So for this, if you want to customize it, there's this cool scribble tool. And what we can do is I'm going to just spell my name as best as I can. Last name page. See how that turns out. I'm going to click done. I'm going to bring it up so it fits on my car. make it a little smaller. Oops. So I've got my last name on my car there. I might just make it a little shorter too. Oops. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group these together. Now what we can do is, oh, this one didn't duplicate. Anyone can guess why? Because I didn't group it. Now I'm going to duplicate it again, hit the right arrow. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out, okay, how many wheels does this car need? Now when you 3D print this out, you remember you don't have to make all of these, but to put it into co-spaces, you do. So what we're going to do, which would be easier, is if we went and put the wheel here, again, we can use the align tool. And we are going to align them in the center and the center. Look at that. It's already there. Perfect. Now, if I group these, actually, what I want to do is I want to move this up a little bit because that's going to fit in the car. Then when I bring this one over, I'm going to group these. Sorry, now. Group. Bring this one and this one. Align it. So it's in the center. I'm going to bring it up so it's at the top because it's the hub. And you can see we've kind of got this ready to roll here. Now we can group that. bring it to the edge of our car, and this is where we rotate 90 degrees. And we are going to place this part in there. So we're going to, have to bring the car up a little bit. Remember when we're printing this, it won't be exactly like that because we need to print everything flat. I'm just going to check by a few angles here to see if that fits, not quite. I'm just using my arrows here to help me align. And again, this isn't printed. It won't print like this, but it will look great for virtual reality. So now I've got that in there. What the next step that I would like you to do is to duplicate this coming up here and putting it on the other four wheels so you actually have a working car with wheels. Thank you. Okay, back here. So I've got two wheels on. I need to put them on the other side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to bring it over here and I am going to flip it around that way going to duplicate it again, bring that one down here, put it in the car, bring this one in, make sure it's in the proper spot, and folks, we are away to the races here ready to download this STL.
So now that our STL is good to go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group it. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to export it as an STL. You'll see it'll be downloading here. That's the file that we are going to drag and drop into CoSpaces.